This is Dr. Ellis Lorenzo Webster, Premier, Minister of Finance, Health, and Economic Development. It's certainly a pleasure to be here and to talk about the new and improved Cleveland J. Lloyd International Airport. I'm sure you will see uh, the renderings. And this is such a beautiful, beautiful um, edifice that Anguilla is deserving of. The way to set up the design, the improvements that are here in this rendering will certainly be fit for purpose and will attract more passengers coming through Anguilla. We know that the airport will have the greatest impact um, economically uh, for Anguilla. The funding of it is a combination of funding uh, from the United Kingdom government of up to 12 million pounds, uh, which uh, was committed to by Minister Amanda Milling and confirmed by Minister Lord Zach Goldsmith. Uh, reserves, which we have amassed, uh, will pay for most of it and certainly in the future will contribute also to the expansion of the runway. But right now, we're looking at this uh, beautiful terminal building and it will be the envy of the Caribbean. And it is efficient, it is well designed by Anguillians and uh, certainly we are looking forward to when this is built and opened, we will be letting the world know that Anguilla can become their home. Lose the crowd, find yourself. It gives me great pleasure to unveil the Anguilla reimagined plans for the Clayton J. Lloyd International Airport Terminal. For almost 50 years, the idea of a commercial international airport that can accommodate flights from the United States of America, Canada and Latin America and further afield was a talking point. The vision of the Honorable James Ronald Webster and the dying wish of the Honorable Hubert Benjamin Hughes to bring about this sort of development that could propel the sort of economic activity that would make Anguilla an economic giant among the Caribbean is now being manifested. This is the promise of a new Anguilla. On July the 4th, 2010, former Minister Evan Gons renamed the airport after aviation pioneer Clayton J. Lloyd. And today, I stand proudly with humility to state that the next chapter of Anguilla's development is here. We meant it when we said change could not wait and the prosperity and resilience that would make our people prosperous and resilient for generations to come is here. I present to you the design and renderings of the new Clayton J. Lloyd International Airport Terminal. I thank you. If there's a message I can send to the people of Anguilla, it would simply be, Anguilla, now is for the doing. doing. Despite the challenges of the day, there remains an unwavering commitment by this progressive administration to elevate Anguilla and ensure that we continue growing sustainably together through the development of an international airport. The key to turning dreams into a reality is action. Action. This administration has turned so many dreams into a reality. A progressive government positioning its country for continued success. 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 We've stuck to the plan because our people deserve the best. State-of-the-art airport to match state-of-the-art hotels and untouchable Anguillian hospitality. We 
have delivered on sound debt management, which is the best youth policy. Now, the airport redevelopment will create the environment for young people to thrive with growing direct and indirect opportunities. Opportunity.